Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm doing uh, a nice little top water bug. Um, it's the Tokyo Spider, as it's called. I believe it was invented by the same guy that invented the Stealth Bomber, but I'm not 100% sure. It's obviously like a sort of panfish pattern. Um, but it'll work for bass, and I'm pretty sure it would work for trout if you shortened the legs up and you were fishing somewhere with sort of, uh, a good drop of terrestrials in the summer. As always, there will be a materials list in the description, uh, along with a link to the Patreon and the PayPal for those of you who'd like to be eligible for the giveaways. And support the channel, get access to members only content. So I've got my hook and my vice, and I'm going to, because this is a foam fly, and it's um, fairly minimal tie-in, I put a bit of super glue down first, and I start my thread at the eye, and I'm going to run a bed of thread, and stop just ahead of the hook point. Trim away my waist. Right. That's just it's very difficult to get this fly to um sit without sp the foam spinning and the super glue just helps a wee bit. Um it helps a lot actually. So I've come back to the midpoint of the shank. Right, the midpoint of the shank, not the midpoint of the thread base. I'm gonna take some black foam cut this roughly the width of the hook gape, right? Um, and I'm going to offer it in wait. Right. Catch that in there and tie back until the foam's just covering the thread wraps, right? So it's we're just at the nearly at the hook point there. I'm going to tidy all of this up just now. Bring my thread forward, and then bring it back again. These anchoring wraps off of the foam are all just to help prevent twist. Now I'm going to tie it in contrast and colours. Uh, black and green will work um, here for. I'll, I'll be using this for bluegill and some largemouth bass, maybe some smallmouth. So that this colour combination works, but also it lets you see a bit more clearly. I hope. Um, how to tie it. So, same again, I've just got to cover everything up. I don't want any foam exposed. I'm going to come in front of it and come back. Right, got a rough idea where I can cut that. That should be plenty. Um, and then we're ready to do the back section. Now, I've got another couple of pieces of foam cut from a strip the same size. Right? And just going to check the sizes. One is slightly shorter than the other. Right, so I'm going to. Get some super glue in here. I'm going to stick this so that it's not touching the thread, right? It's going to be back a wee bit. Just make sure that gets attached nice and secure. And then Come in on this one. And this bit's same width but slightly shorter. I just stick that in the middle. Right. So it's the the bottom piece is a, maybe a millimetre here and a millimetre here at either side of the, the top section. Right. 
Now, there's enough glue, I'm not going to bother gluing the top. Now, um, fold this over, and you don't need to make it super tight. Right? If you pull it too tight, you end up with kind of crushes. So, I've got it here, and my thread is hanging at the midpoint of this flat spot that I've created with the, the wraps. Right. Take a loose wrap, and I'm just going to hold it flat with my finger on top. Just pull down, and that will tighten up. And then, I'm going to work my thread back. Just take touching wraps as you go, and that will sort of create that wee bulbous back as the, as the foam gets pulled in and grip. It grips the top of that uh, green piece. Right. Take my foam, lift the black stuff up, come under it, come forward, lift the green up, come to the front, pull the green, and I'll catch that. Two or three wraps, just behind the eye, and then I can cut my black piece. Um, you see there? Got a wee hump of green. Well, I cut the black piece so it's just slightly longer, nearly to the hook eye, like that. You see, if I press that flat, it just extends beyond the tie-in point. I don't know how well you can see that. Right. I'll lift this back up. I'll skip my thread across the top here, and I'll come back behind the black foam. Fold your green foam over. If you want, you could add some super glue. Right, but I'd put I put it sometimes there. Sometimes I forget. I don't think it makes much difference, but at this stage, get that stuck in. Pull your green foam. Still in the midpoint here. A nice loose wrap. Hold it and tighten up. Now if you want to, you can just trim that back a wee bit, knock off the corners. There you go. I don't know that that makes any difference. But now you've got this nice wee fly, you've got a, sort of a bulbous head at the front, that gives you a bit of gurgliness. If you really strip it, this actually creates a bit of a dive. Um, which is good, you know, if you're if there's a, a bass shows itself in the area or something and that's nearby, it's enough disturbance to catch their attention a lot of the time. And it's there's a lot of foam and quite a small packet. It's no big long, um, so you you can easily hang something underneath it. So legs are the last thing. Need four. Just round rubber, I've just coloured these up. Drop them. But you don't need to, I mean you can use just plain colour or just buy the ready barred stuff. I just didn't have any yellow barred, um, so I did it myself. And I've cut these three inches long, right? Which gives me legs that are an inch and a half long. on either side, right, so what I did, I just folded that around the thread, exactly even, and just positioned it, and there's only one wrap of thread holding it, I'll show you on the other side, just so you can see, I've just rocked it so you can see how I place it in, it's folded over, the tips are even, right, make sure they're even, You know, there's nothing actually holding things until, and you can, you can then check. I like it just to come in at the, 
at the the junction here, right, the foam sort of holds the legs in position. Two, three wraps is enough as hold them. And then I'll just whip finish it by hand. Pull straight up. Do another. Just for security. You don't need it really. Tighten that knot up. And I always like to cut here so the, the root of the knot goes back in to the foam groove. And you never see it. The last thing is just to separate these legs and just grab one, stretch it, just give them a stretch. And there you have it, the Tokyo Spider, big leggy bug thing, <laughs> right, um, really great for hanging a nymph off below, good indicator fly. I'm sure if you're in the UK and you're fishing like a, a small stock fishery or something, um, this would be a great thing for hanging your buzzers below. It's got to put a generous drop of varnish, head cement, whatever you want to call it, along these thread wraps on the underside, and that's it. Tie them in different colours, different sizes, whatever you like really. See there I've got a, a brown one. Works quite well, you can tie them black, bright yellow and yellow and orange, red and orange, that kind of stuff. Up to you. So I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel. Tight lines guys, bye.